All right, guys, is there a right or a wrong way to run a play? So many of us run the same schemes, but we have different ways of looking at it. So I went to a clinic this weekend and got a chance to talk to a couple of guys. And one of the things that I realized is, is maybe there isn't a wrong way to run a play. Let's talk about it. Stay tuned. All right, guys, welcome back to the 92 Mesh Group channel, your home on the internet for uh, the air raid offense. This is Coach Coltharp coming back at you. Uh, just got back, uh, first weekend back after my trip to Dallas, uh, really just trying to get, uh, you know, acclimated back to, to daily grind after taking a couple of days off. Really, really appreciated the time and being able to do that and really appreciate Coach Mummy and those guys um, welcoming me into the Renegades uh, facility and, and, and kind of behind the scenes. That was pretty cool. Um you know, so this past weekend, you know, I had a chance to go over to Methodist College and um, or Methodist University. I'm sorry, um, here in, in Fayetteville to uh, to a coaches clinic and and you know what they do is some of the alumni put on a coaches clinic in honor of the former head coach, uh, Coach Jim Seipel, who was there for about 20 years. And um, all of these guys come back in and they put on a free clinic for everybody, just kind of in to remember him and the things that he did for him. So it was really nice for me to be able to go in and, and listen to some of those guys talk and, and do some things. And, and some of the best coaches in the state of North Carolina was there. I mean, and if you were a wing T guy, that was a place to be, man. Cause there, there was some super wing T talent um, in North in from North Carolina at that clinic. And, and I, if I had to say, maybe if I looked at the North Carolina all time, top 10, probably Five of the best wing tee coaches in the state of North Carolina history were, were at that clinic and talking, and they actually did a wing tee session, and it was pretty cool to see all those guys get together and talk. And, um, and then there was a bunch of spread stuff as well and, and some air raid stuff like that. So in today's video, I thought what we would talk about is, is how you run a play, but you might run it differently than everybody else. And um, so the play that we're going to look at is actually shallow. And, and I had a chance to listen to the offensive coordinator at Methodist University. He'd been around uh, a bunch of different places, talked to him, and him and I talked a little bit after his session about how they run shallow and some things that they do. And, and what I noticed that there were some fundamental differences in the way that he taught his what he called a drive concept and, um, and, and how we teach shallow cross. And, and so it was really interesting to listen to him talk about it and, and, and some of the things that, that he wanted to do. So I thought we would jump in it in the video and, and, and talk a little bit more about that in, um, in, in today's episode. So, hey, look, if you like these kind of videos, you want to do a little bit more compare and contrast, I really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. Um, we're, we're, you know, we're right around 3,000 subscribers now. we got a couple of months to go before we hit our one-year anniversary. Really appreciate all the support you guys have been giving us and, and, and been giving the Total Air Raid system and also the, the Total Air Raid Nation uh, 2020 clinic. If you haven't gotten your tickets yet, you can go to 92meshgroup.com slash clinics and get your ticket for that. That's going to be one of the best uh, air raid clinics around. And, and I've got guys coming who are just going to be there who aren't going to speak formally but are some of the top spread guys in the country and college guys and stuff are going to be around so you know get you a pub table and 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 learn the same way i learned the air raid from from coach mummy the first time i ever had a chance to talk to coach mummy was at a clinic um after he spoke and, and, and so you know i would invite you to get your clinic ticket for that so let's jump into the uh to the route formation and, and talk a little bit about today's uh episode all right so here we are looking at, at our, our shallow uh, cross diagram right here on just play solutions and and one of the things that we always talk about in, in the air raid is that we read grass not people and and so looking at this route you know obviously we go one two three with a pre-snap based on on uh, what's going on on the outside, whether or not we want to run a post or, or just go ahead and run the peak. And, and I had an interesting conversation with him about that, too. And I think there's a couple of things that we're going to do a little bit later um, in, in, the, um, in our offense this spring to maybe give us some better options that, that I learned from him. But one of the things that we talked about is, is what's going on in this area right here. And, and you know, we, we're very particular about – you know, reading grass. Is this grass open or closed? If the grass is closed, you go right to the hunt route, um, and which is he, which he likes to call the basic. 
Um, and, and so, you know, we're, we're looking right here. If the grass is closed, we go here. If this grass is closed, then we come here. It's, you know, it's pretty much one, two, three, triangle read, no big deal. So how is that different than how he read it? And, you know, he kind of had a more of a West Coast idea. They actually read the inside linebacker right here. And, um, you know, it gives you it gives you kind of the same idea. You know, if this if this linebacker steps up here, then obviously, you know, they're going to go right here um, and, and so on and so forth. It's still the same progression. But the eyes of the quarterback, instead of going right here to this grass are going right here to this linebacker. And, and so, you know, that that was one of the things that kind of struck me as differently is that, you know, wow, I was like it's not really the difference because it's kind of the same hole. And then the other thing that they do is they allow their shallow to kind of sit. And he said, he talked to some new Orleans saints guys and they do that, which I would never do. Um, and, and so, you know, it's a, it's a little bit different concept, a little bit different idea that, you know, instead of reading this grass, reading these people. And then when I mentioned that to him, he's like, yeah, area guys, or they y'all read grass. You know, you know, we read people, you know, we train our guys to read people, you guys read grass and, 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 and you know, and pretty much it's, it's the same plays, the same concept, same progression. It's just how you get to that progression. And, and, you know, my thing with him was I told him, I was like, you know, people lie. I mean, you guys have heard me tell this a hundred, hundred million times. The only, the only honest people on a football field are guards. And by the time they get to college, they even start lying a little bit, but at high school, they pretty much tell you the truth. Everybody else lies. And, and, you know, what if this guy gets a false read? Um, you know, especially with us, you know, we like to take him and put him over here and flash him across and do some different things like that on the shallow cross. So it's really interesting to see um, how all of that works um, and, and just him looking at that. Um, and, you know, in the comments down below, you know, how do you guys uh, do you need guys read the shallow cross like that, reading it from the inside linebacker or do you guys do the grass? And and then I know we've had a conversation before about reading it from top down. Um, he did read it from bottom up like like we do. And, and, and I think I think that's where our, our West Coast roots um you know, there are guys who are going to go post, dig shallow. Um, and, you know, I don't necessarily agree with that. But once again, it just it's just interesting in why football is such a great game is how you can have the same scheme um, run run by three different people and, and they can read it three different ways. We could read the grass, one, two, three. Um, he could read the inside backer, one, two, three. Another guy could go one, two, three, post, dig shallow uh, back. Um, so it's pretty interesting in that. Um, so, you know, like I said, it's, it's a great play. Obviously, we all love shallow cross, but it was just interesting to hear his, his, uh, his reasoning for doing that because he knew right now if that backer bailed, then they were going to go to the shallow cross. And, and, you know, for me, I think that's dangerous because what do you do with the flat defender? You know, what if he bails and, and they roll down? And, and, you know, of course, there, there's this caveat to football. It's like the guy with the chalk glass is always going to win. And, um, so I guess that's probably why I'm just I'm just really going to be an open grass read guy for forever and ever and ever and ever until somebody changes my mind. And, uh, you know, I, I, it's going to be hard because for me, I just think it's so much easier to teach young players how to read grass um, than it is to read people, especially at the high school level where people don't always read their keys the way they're supposed to um, and, and, and those kind of things. So it's just kind of interesting to me. So, hey, hey, guys, hopefully this kind of gave you gave you a little bit of uh, thinking about some of you guys. If you do read that inside backer, tell me why you do it. I'd love to, love to talk about it a little bit more. Um, like I said, hey, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that hit that bell so you're notified when we go live. And if you haven't got your Air Raid Nation tickets, let's get, let's get that thing sold out, man. I'm so excited about some of the stuff that we got going on and some of the surprise people who are just going to be walking around the room and when I say surprise people we're talking about some big time people who are talking about coming down and just hanging out so you know even if they're not speaking you'll be able to network and do some different things and and talk to some guys and learn some stuff I'm really excited about coach Longo and, and what he's going to be talking about in his RPO talk and and, and how they're kind of moving away from tr traditional RPO reads which is really interesting to me but as always guys I appreciate it thank you for everything and spin it to win